If I chase after Endeavor and shorten the distance between us, even if it's by the smallest amount, then one day I'll reach my goal to become the greatest hero in the world. Well, who's not pumped? <laughs> <laughs> to shorten the distance one step at a time. My goal is to shorten the distance ever so slightly towards being someone like Deku. <laughs> Before I knew it, I'd spent an entire week working at the most prominent agency in all of Japan. Yes, back to this amazing internship with Endeavor. Give me more Endeavor. More life lessons. <laughs> What's this? More petty crime? It's a little bit overkill, no? Maybe he has a quirk. Let's see. Train till you can do hero work in your sleep. By the time you come hero work in your sleep, sleep, you should already be in action. Right, they're trying to beat him to a crime just once. He always seems to pull ahead of us in the last second. He missed opportunity for a holy woe. Be more careful if you're still using cash these days. <laughs> Endeavor. And he gives you a little life lesson or some unsolicited advice, depending on how you look at it. Incredible work. I'll leave it to you. How many times a day do they have that conversation, I wonder? You should return to your rooms and get some sleep. I'm not done fighting! Are you <laughs> Has he even begun fighting? He hasn't had an opportunity yet. Even if you're using some of the same concepts you learned at school, real-world experience is completely different. Don't For forget sure. what you've picked up in class, but get used to being out here. I've even had jobs, like the aforementioned Wall Street job, where my bosses straight up told me to throw away everything I learned in school, and they weren't totally wrong. <laughs> and there's definitely something to that, you know, learning anything complex is sort of like playing a, a game of telephone with reality. Anything with a certain amount of variables that interplay with each other, and it doesn't have to be that many, is just sort of infinitely complex, at least for our processing capabilities, and yet in order to teach something, it has to be boiled down into something bite-sized, which often misses the actual reality of the thing. I mean, just the fact that we think of things in terms of subjects, there are no subjects, right? There's just life. And then we end up putting categories on things to make it more clear what we're focusing on and try to stream out a couple of those variables and focus on them. But the danger of that is what happens when you put that back into the, the hole. Life, on the other hand, is like a, a wind tunnel full of sand, you know, like you're a block of wood and you don't have to think. The sand is just blasting pieces off you until you're aerodynamic, until you can withstand the sand. And another important distinction is that I think in school, a lot of the time the goal is missing. It's sort of this one step removed thing where it's like, learn this, but there's no why. In practice, in an occupation, it becomes a little bit more clear, hopefully, what the goal is. And that makes that failure success feedback loop more potent, more understandable. I'm going to rest for a while. Summon me if anything comes up. Yes, Does never sleep at his desk? He seems like the type. Oh, he's not actually resting. He's going to read. Oh, hey, Dad. How are you? I heard you're working with Shoto these days. He just days. doesn't sleep, does he? He just doesn't sleep. Anyway, school's starting back up, which means it'll be harder to get people together. She's so normal with him. Since tomorrow's Saturday, I was thinking you could bring everyone he's over really to trying. for dinner. The hellish Toroki family. Wow, really on the nose there. <laughs> I'm sure dinner will go well, based on the title. Where do I begin? These questions keep me up at night. Take your own advice. One step at a time. Please stop this. He's fine. Stop pushing him. Take it. Get out of my way. <laughs> oh, you hit see it. It hurts. It hurts. I gotta relive this again. You're the one who made her hurt me. It's painful. It's hard to imagine there ever being a full recovery. You know, I think that's one of the mo most painful things about that kind of trauma between people is that it's possible to move on. It's even possible to have a good relationship, but there's sort of no undoing it. You know, for all my talk about like who is responsible for what and how much and the fact that Endeavor is clearly abusive, but that the mother also made a mistake, even if Endeavor was a key contributor towards that mental state and all the complications that arise within. For Endeavor, it won't really matter for himself because there's very real wrongdoing that he is fully aware of. And also there's very real effects of that that he's experiencing and living now. And I think the most painful thing about it is that you can never undo it. You know, that's sort of the worst part about betraying other people is that you always, always have that memory. And it's possible to have good relationships after that, but it's always there. And you just got to live with it and hopefully form better things that sort of take the emotional priority in the relationship. I mean, he went there and she at least let him come in. I see. This beard, though. I'm not sure I feel about it. Now. Mixed feelings. I think... Shoto's trying to get over the past. He's trying to make sense of it and move forward. Our family will be whole again. That's a big ask, but I gotta respect it. Mom screams. Shoto's crying. What happened to our big brother Toya? Toya. What happened to big brother Toya? It's a lot to think about. What does it mean to Obviously. be simple? That's what I want to know. Look at Endeavor just resting. It's the hardest thing he's done all day. Why is it so important to be the strongest? Tell me, Endeavor. 
I'm sure you have a reason. So what is it? Yeah, the very thing he casts aside in its pursuit. This is a tough predicament for these heroes because every moment they take off, every moment they sleep, is a moment where people are like dying, potentially. How do you live with that? I don't know. So we ate and slept in the same building as the flaming sidekick. Hey, Thorm life. Gotta love it. Slice of endeavor life. You are the one in my exhaust, which means I'm obviously above you. I'm still trying to get used to pinpointed attacks. Sure, but ignored. It look like you're slowly getting totally the ignored. Them. Yeah, I guess. So. I'm talking. Huh? The accumulation before your release is a problem too, huh? Yes. I like how they workshop each other's quirks. That's great. Don't really need to start a fire under them, do I? No, just get out of their way. <laughs> Wait, he knew that before it was gonna happen? That's amazing. To do that, you'll need an observing eye. Yeah, he like observed that rope ripping before it ripped. But the more experience you get, the more accurate more. you become. More experience. Faster. Push <laughs> yeah, that's the endeavor way. He truly is plus ultra. A hero should be constantly accelerating. Constantly accelerating, not just constantly going fast. Accelerating. to drop by for a bite. For real, busy schedule is an understatement. She, I feel like, in a lot of ways, is the emotional cornerstone of Endeavor's life right now. I hate this! Why? <laughs> You're gonna get delicious anime food, too. And there it is. Speak of the devil. introductions again. I'm Shoto's older sister. And this is delicious anime food. And this is Shoto's older brother, Natsuo. He's in college. Hey, what's up? This is go going civilly so far. Uh, anyway, let's dig in. Anyway, yeah, let's cold. move on. Let's not let there be a chance for fighting to emerge. Oh, whoa! This oh, fried whoa. chicken is absolutely amazing! I'm so glad you like it! <laughs> have to call attention to it. We'll Look at this glamour shot. Look at these glamour shots of the food. Why do they do this to me? Stop analyzing dinner, you freak! You're mumbling like the taste of my mapo tofu! Yeah! That was like my favorite thing in China. You used to cook too, Natsu. We took turns. Wait, so did I eat your food growing up? I'm on eggshells right now. I'm like waiting for a bad memory to be triggered. Endeavor might have kept you from having it. He always did uh, keep a close uh, eye on your diet. Oh, uh, here we go. I suppose there is truth to that. Uh, he didn't bite. <laughs> I feel like he was looking for something there. He was looking for an instigation. Cafeteria style. No, that's, that is wrong. That is wrong. It is the most amazing food of all time. It is five star cuisine every day. I've seen it. Because they do glamour shots all the time. I showed like I said I would, but now I'm done. Wait! That's, no, that's all right. Yeah. Sorry. E, let him go. Don't push it. It's fine. That went well. For me, that's a victory. Did you know Todoroki's family had a lot of issues going on before this? Of course, but only because you guys talked about it so loud that I couldn't not know it. Oh yeah, he was eavesdropping that time. At least he's honest about it. He's known all along. Midoriya would be upset if you didn't let him pitch in. <laughs> It's so true. So tell me, how do you feel about our dad, honestly? He may not have been there, but he's responsible for the scar I have. Interesting. I'll do my best to make sure what happened before doesn't happen again. I swear it. I don't know how to feel about the old man, but I'll figure it out. I think it's possible that to a certain extent, their feelings and their reactions to Endeavor reveal what they each want. You know, like, for example, it's possible that the older brother really wants Endeavor's approval or always coveted it. You know, perhaps what the sister wants is a feeling like her world is stable, you know, that she has a foundation. And without that, perhaps she can't feel secure, you know, because I feel like she's really kind and sweet and she's very forgiving. But there's a little element of it that is based on a, a deep personal need. You no, know? I mean, she's trying to go really, really far, really fast without regard for the individual levels that they're at. I mean, I feel like the brother's reaction is perfectly fine. It's just where he is. Shoto, while well, he's come a long way, I think still his found foundation of his thinking about it is that there's like this light and dark, you know, there's his mother, which is pure light and his father, which is pure dark. And maybe a desire there is like having one pure source of love. And his mother is a symbol for that, even though I think it's pretty clear his mother is not perfect. His mother herself seems to have acknowledged that but you know personal desires and incentives aside i think they're all processing it in a reasonable way like none of them have to feel any particular way about it they feel how they feel and they're open-minded they're listening they're talking they're showing up you know and i think that's about as much as you can ask in a lot of cases there's this overall feeling of cautious optimism you know there's a potential there's a chance perhaps one potential answer in this situation is you remove yourself from harm's way like whatever is dangerous you make sure you're protected from that once you're in a safe place, you just wait and see and just observe from a safe distance. And you never know, people might surprise you. But you went and ruined some good food with your family drama. I'm sorry. I don't think anything could ruin that food overheard. for me. 
He didn't have to barge in, though. I guess his commitment to the dishes was paramount. Deku would be upset if he didn't help. I know it's not my business, but I think deep but down, I'm gonna you're ready to get into your business your anyway. <laughs> wow. Don't get me wrong, wow. though. If you don't forgive him, that's up to you. Right. Speaking of eavesdropping, it's like an eavesdropping circle right here. Everyone's here. <laughs> Where do I begin? I yes. wish that you could join them. Lost son. Toya. Toya. I think the answer to his question is is basically what he's already doing. You just stop doing the things that are wrong. You live normally, you live well, and then you just wait. I don't know. There's no, like, grand gesture. At least in real life, you know, those don't often appear. It's more about just being consistent being consistently good. I think that when we look at people, we sort of take the average of all their actions and all the feelings we have about them, but it's weighted for time. So the more time goes on, the longer Endeavor goes being this kind of person where he's actually something like a you know positive father figure in their lives, the more that will start to rebalance. It just takes a lot of patience. And it also can't be doing that kind of thing for the hope of some immediate reward. You know, you see this a lot. People will reform and they'll reform because they just want the pain to end. They want the pain and the discomfort and the knowledge of themselves as having negative traits to just go away so they reform briefly but they don't account for the length of time it takes and they get frustrated they get bitter that well i've already changed no i already know in my heart i'm different why are you still bringing up the past but that's a mistake because i think what that reveals it's not really about caring for the other people it's about wanting to get out of that discomfort it's about wanting to escape the sinking feeling like you've really messed up and you're a ter terrible person that's not a real commitment to actual change you know if change is the goal then you just do that change and that's sort of rewarding in itself. The other things just sort of fall where they may because you can't control other people and their thoughts. That's just a fact. A few days earlier. What, what, what was I just looking at? A guy at a security gate? Who is this pleasant character? All right. <laughs> Zebra Man, but this is a hero show, right? And so what you might expect is there will be a moment for Endeavor to like step up and do something. Maybe his family's in trouble. Maybe the Zebra Man attacks or something like that. I don't know, which I guess is fair. Like in life, there are moments where you can really come through for people. If you're lucky, you just can't force them. They have to come up organically. One of the, the most interesting things about Endeavor's character is just how amazing he is in his work life. You know, it's not a job for him. It's literally who he is. He's so good at it. You can't be that good at it. You can't have that much attention to detail without being connected to it at the very fiber of your being. He's not forcing himself to do this. He's just like living and the knowledge is filtering through him because he's a he's an empty vessel. You know, he's a vacuum for hero stuff, but then he's just terrible in other ways. Like his home life is terrible. He was a terrible father, arguably worse husband, total mess. Can't put one sentence in front of the other. Can't recognize that if he took his hero knowledge and his hero methodology and applied it to his personal life, it would have a good effect. You know, the whole idea of taking it one step at a time improving your weaknesses one by one, striving to do more, you know, it would go a long way for his family. But perhaps one of the reasons why it's a blind spot for him is because of how much actual psychic danger it causes him. It's not free, it's fearful. It's eggshells. It's a really genius move having that juxtaposition. And I know Endeavor is a very controversial character and people have all sorts of perfectly valid feelings about him. Personally, I think it would be satisfying to see him succeed. You know, I don't think that it would ever make the past palatable, but just personally, I want to believe that people can change. Like Shoto said, you know, I, I also believe that people can change if they set their minds to it, if they become aware, actually aware, you know, on a really deep level of the implications of their actions and what it means and the real pain that it causes and can turn things around and that things can become beautiful again. You know, I've had that experience on multiple sides. Like I've been someone who realized a flaw, an error I was making that was hurting others and vowed to fix it. And I've also been, I would say, on the receiving end of other people's flaws, let's call it, and come out of it, you know, protecting myself first and then looking back and realizing that a lot of that was just their own personal hurt. It was their own personal trauma and that, that didn't make it okay, but it made it understandable. And those two things can be true at once. You know, something can be understandable and also the person can be wrong for it and responsible for it. And I feel like if I'm really aligned with just wanting the best and sort of letting go of bitterness, not letting that be a tool for my own self-identity, as tempting as that might be, you know, like, oh, I'm a victim, or focusing really, really heavily on, on that, I would rather aim for a world where I can be allowed to fix things, be allowed to be better, and other people can as well, and that our relationships can be good. That for me is the more uplifting state, it's the more desirable state, but that's just me. So yeah, that's the end of the first episode, I guess, of Awkward Dinner Time at the Todoroki's. See you guys next time when Deku cleans the whole house.